the 2017 Subaru Impreza, available in showrooms as you read this, is all new from the odd tire contact patch all the way up to the top of the surprisingly more stylish body. But there is more to this compact sedan than just that. It is the first Subaru to ride on the stiffer, stronger, safer and all new Subaru Global Platform, the very underpinnings that will carry the entire Subaru line into as far as 2025 or so. That's right, everything from the Impreza to the Forester will use this platform, or some stretched version of it, save perhaps for the rear drive BRZ co-developed with Toyota. When they say all new, they mean all new, except for 5%. I know you hear that a lot but this car is really new, said Todd Hill, car line manager at Subaru of America, before immediately qualifying that statement. Every part, save for your little clips, fasteners and bolts, every part is new. It's 95% new. That even includes a factory in Indiana, into which Subaru recently poured $1.3 billion. This will be the first Impreza made in America instead of imported from Japan. 5,500 Americans proudly crank these out in Lafayette, Indiana. Back to the new platform, Hill said it is designed to support multiple power trends, including lots of electrification coming in the near future, plug-ins and hybrid dev models. Thanks to greater use of high-strength steel, stronger welds and 23 feet of structural adhesive, it can absorb 40% more collision energy while stiffness is up 70%. That allows for more precise tuning of the suspension and a more precise application of electric power steering. Small vibrations coming into the car are damped more effectively, said Hill. When you hit a bump you're going to feel less of it and it's going to be over quicker. The 2.0-liter flat 4 is similar to the previous Impreza power plant but is 80% new, including direct fuel injection. The Linartronic Continuously Variable Transmission CVT has mostly new components, including a new fake step feel so you might be tricked into thinking it's a 7-speed automatic. The sport version adds torque vectoring for better cornering, the inside front and rear brakes are applied just a bit and turns to better rotate the car through corners.